Oh boy, look at this. I, yeah. Um, uh, the reason being, I know, I know, I know. I'm sure you're going, Chris, you're just being paranoid. But um, yeah, I'm paranoid. You can be paranoid and still have people staring at you, man. Like I'm telling you. Anyways, I want my plants to um, still get a full-on sunlight. And I can still, uh, you know, open the windows and whatnot. But now at least I don't have people freaking staring at me while I'm like doing, you know. I can understand like last year this is where I had the game. And they probably were like, is that guy alright? Like he's just staring for hours at a certain, you know, it's whatever. But, um, but you know, now I can like do my stuff here and... Yeah, it's just stuff I've been working on today, like, um, well, this is like the table, I, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, the weekly situation table or whatever, but, oh, you can see, I actually, um, you see what I mean by adding some extra shims, you can really, like, even increase the, um, the embossing or whatever, I just wanted to just fiddle around, and see if, what I could, if I could, uh, and I didn't use the right stuff, it doesn't matter. Um, good day, man. I'll just say that. Um, I got to, uh, read, um, chapter one of the Great War in Africa, uh, one and a half times, made notes, which was super duper awesome. Pop this out again, because, uh, it's my favorite Doctor Who story. It's not the best one, but I just, just, something about it, man. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to, uh, record it later, um, so that way I can wander around with it. This dude... Well, him and Dr. McGilvery, darn it, what was his, I think his first name was Andrew. I'll have to take a look. Dr. McGilvery, anyways, um, he was a uh, professor at Carleton University. Um, I came extremely close uh, to majoring in English based on this guy and uh, Dr. McGilvery. Um it, I didn't. I went into uh, first year university undeclared because I was just like, what the hell is going on? And uh, in a good way. I was super, uh, I'm glad I did. Um, went with my gut, but, uh, or my heart, I could say. But um, this was awfully close. Anyways, he is so flipping compelling. I find John Dunn. Um, and now I'm like, you know what? This is one of your, uh, like, uh, a bucket list thingamajig. Like, you don't got too much time left, dude. So, um, he is without a doubt. <sighs> what an author. What a, oh, what a life. Holy smokes. I would have loved to have hung out with him. I don't know if we could have, oh, we would have understood each other eventually. But, I mean, you know, obviously our, initially our language would, wouldn't have. But, um, I would have liked to have met him well, probably at any time. Uh, holy shoot. Ah. Um, yeah. Hold on. Oh, what else? Yeah, I got to get, um, I know it's the, um, the Central Powers turn, but I was like, jeepers jumping, man. You better, like, you've been giving, like, uh, come on, man. The Kriegfrosch, Operation Luther, Operation Baba Yaga, the whole nine flipping yards. It was like, you know, it's, I got a, like a separate map for the German rail network, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, geez, man, gives Russia a bit of love. And like I've said before, I absolutely love playing Russia in uh, World War I, well, <laughs> uh, Eastern Front 1914. I've only ever played them that way. Um, and I'm really darn good. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, in my <laughs> naive way, I've only played myself and um, Rob, really, so what the hell. But, um, yeah, I've just been making notes to try to figure out, like like I said, to weave in the narrative of, um, you know, what's going on. Like, why the hell? It, like, the horrible thing that's been happening with Russia at this point, as well as they just lost the initiative. And it's been going well. Uh, you know what freaked me out, though? Oh, my F. I didn't, uh, I was reading on, uh, Zelensky and the son of a bee in real life tried to blame, uh, Rennenkamp for, uh, the failure of, um, the first battle of the Missourian Lakes. I was like, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. I was using this in my narrative of, uh, the fact of, uh, I was like, okay, how do I explain this, uh, complete catastrophe of like a month long delay of getting the reinforcements and, and supply from, um, was it Kovno? I think so. Yes, Kovno. Uh, 
to Kovno to the first, uh, well, the, to the Prego, uh, Prego River front. And, um, you know, it was like, okay, someone has to take the blame. And Zelensky kind of like, I don't know what do you call it, uh, jumped the gun or I don't know what do you call it. Um, and tried to, you know, like formed, like uh, promoted Anatoly Rosenshield, I think, who is from the 32nd Infantry Division. I'm not really sure about that one. Um, but anyways, part of uh, Rendenkamp's first um, army said, oh, guess what? You're now uh, going to be um, the commander of Special Corps 1 and you're, in, in, you know, uh, assigned to basically get the, the supplies to Prego River Front because Renan Camp sucks. Um, it worked. Now he doesn't have much to do. And I'm thinking, hmm, promotion, maybe. Promotion. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I think on a side notice, hmm, maybe not really. No, I'm trying to, even though my mind's going a, a flipping mile a minute with uh, a zillion other things, I'm going to have to figure out some way of uh, slowing it down. Maybe um, uh, I can't play music right now because uh, the electricity rates are off the charts. Um, uh, maybe I'll go read some Sun Tzu or something. Uh, because I need to like, what I'm trying to do right now is coordinate my first sleep with, um, part of the live stream for not Jay. I don't know if I can make it because of, I think I may have overshot it, but we'll see. There may be something else I wanted to talk about. So I may hit the pause button. Hold on. <clears throat> well, you know what? There probably was a zillion other things I wanted to talk about, but I've lost my train of thought. I will say a few things. There's only 37 more days to can games. I have to do a playthrough of Pocket Battles for Flippin' Sure. Hold on. These guys. Um, and you can so tell I am not a uh, meandering mic due to the fact that they had a fourth version of this uh, for Civil War. And I was like, oh, I'm not into Civil War. However, or U.S. Civil War. But, of course, if you were meandering mic or someone like that, it would not even have been a question to pick it up for a me it was ridiculously i p paid um i think 15 dollars each canadian for these um now uh to try to try get try getting the u.s civil war one it's probably extremely hard now i'd like to complete the collection um Henry and mike wouldn't have to worry about that he would have done it a long time ago um so i'll have to play this Mm. And then uh, I also have to do a playthrough of the Tannenberg game. You know what? I think I may have, um, I don't even know if I've mentally whatever, but I think I'm getting, yeah, I'll just read a bit. I think I may get ready for, uh, remember, I've been up since, okay, how long have I been up for? No, I did get a bit of a nap. So um, I did, uh, hmm, where did I? Hold on here. Oh, been up for a while. Anyways, it doesn't matter. See ya.